Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Exiled Lands, in the Devil's Squat at Map Square E9, building a fantasy home. This design is based on medieval fantasy, mixing stone, wood and natural elements together into a comfortable family home. This build uses mods slightly in construction and heavily in decoration. The list of mods are used and their load order can be found as usual in the pinned comment below. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% of a 2 year deal plus 3 months free with the new Christmas deal when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to browse the internet safely and securely with NordVPN. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. I used a few reference images when planning out this build, mainly 3D models of fantasy medieval homes, and thus I tried to incorporate common features of these models into this build. I started off with a one tier circular foundation, and then built the rest of the home on the eastern side of the circle using stone brick fence foundations. I then covered the top of these fence foundations with insulated wooden ceilings, and then built a small entranceway using walls and rooftop caps along with a back balcony. Next for the walls. I chose to use stone brick walls and built the walls up two tiles high, using windows from the glass constructions mod to get some natural light into the build. I played around with a couple of designs for a 4x2 outdoor seating area on the southern side, but I would eventually change this design in the furnishing phase which was definitely a change for the better. I continued to build up the walls around the home and the front tower, and separated the northern side of the build into a large lounge and a fairly decent sized kitchen. Next for the first floor. I built up a staircase and created two rooms on the northern side of the home, covering the top of the walls with insulated wooden ceilings. I also created a long, narrow balcony across the eastern side of the first floor, and then built a catwalk around the top of the floors leading to a 3x3 room on the front side of the build. I also built the master bedroom over the lounge, along with a balcony and another connection to the tower. Finally, after building up the tower, I started on the roof. I wanted all roof pieces to interconnect together in this build, which proved to be 
somewhat troublesome, but honestly, not too bad. Roofs like these are really hard to explain in videos because, in all honesty, even I'm not sure exactly what I did to get it to work. The best advice I can really give on roofs like these is to build the basic core shapes over each segment of the build and then work on connecting them together. Keep working on it slow and steady and eventually the roof will just come together and will end up looking pretty good, way better than just one massive roof over the home. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the home with aquilonium braziers and covered the outside of the home with ivy to get that natural element from fantasy homes into the build. Entering the home, we reach the main hall. This includes places to hang up your coat, various shelves and storage, and even a family pet. On the southern side of the build, I've redesigned the outdoor seating area into a 2x2. Two two. It's a little bit tight with the current table, but it works quite well. On the other side of the wall is the bathroom, a small 2x2 two two room that is quite simplistic but serves its function well. Across the hall we reach the lounge. This room is where the family would likely spend their free time and also eat dinner together. The room is decorated quite well with plenty of space and is attached to a small seating area in the tower. Entering the back northern room, this is the open plan kitchen. This is where food can be prepared and served for the family, and is packed with plenty of ingredients, herbs and spices.
Heading out the back door, this is a small backyard where the family's clothes are hung out to dry. Some of the nearby trees are also tapped to harvest sap. There is also a narrow balcony that looks over the backyard. Heading upstairs, we first look into one of the smaller bedrooms. This room provides a place to rest and relax, along with some small storage, and is placed right next to the top floor rear balcony. Heading down the catwalk we reach another bedroom. This one is a little larger than the last but just as comfortable. Finally on the top floor we reach the master bedroom. This room is again designed for space and comfort, and has plenty of natural elements and personal storage. It is also attached to a balcony which looks over the front door, along with a small seating area in the tower. And there we have it, a fantasy home in the exiled lands, in the Devil's Squat at Map Square E9. Thanks for watching, I am really happy with this build, I think the decoration really helped to elevate the entire home, and it's honestly, in my opinion, probably one of the best houses I've built. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code EROSYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sodialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede, Shannara, and Torn. 
If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Next Souls videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.